bum, 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 and uh, this is Shake and Bake from Copy Bug Paste Indie Team. And this is development update number two for November. And if I sound excited, it is because we are. If you've not heard already, we, we've announced a release date. Uh, we will bring out HB14 Alpha in December, so very soon. And in this uh, update, we're going to talk about water and, and just give you an update on where things are at. We've talked about uh, the terrain, land. We've talked about the air, talked about the building area. Now it's time to talk about the new water that you're going to find in HB14 Alpha. Uh, and, and this is it right here. It's not done. It'll even look better uh, once the update comes out. But we love it. It just looks awesome. We got the waves rolling. And uh, that right there is the Canary, one of the boats I built. And I'm going to show you another one here in a minute. But this really shows off the customization you can do with the skin system in creating some crazy stuff, whether that's realistic vehicles, stuff out of this world, whatever, whatever you choose to do. We'll jump in that boat here in a minute and cruise around. Uh, but I'm gonna show you another feature real quick here is a wave. So uh, we, we've updated the user interface. So now we've got video settings, gameplay and audio settings very, very in-depth video settings so you can adjust this based on the performance of your PC. But let's say you want to race some boats or, or watercraft, right? And you don't want the waves, no problem. You could come in here and turn off the waves, hit apply, and boom, that easy. Now we have smooth water, no waves to worry about, and you can cruise on. So really shape the environment the way you want it. Uh, but I'm going to turn the waves back on because I love the waves. So let's take it. Let's get the waves back on there. Go to video, and let's turn them on to full. I want the I want the ocean to be rocking and rolling here. And back to game. Let's jump in the canary. And this is just a, a fishing boat I made, and it's it's pretty stable. Uh, but it can get capsized by these waves. The waves are a bit tough. And you actually have to, like, go into the waves like a real boat would. If you uh, go into them sideways, you're going to roll just like in the real ocean. Uh, but, man, it is awesome to go through these waves, kind of hit the white caps. And there's in some areas, the waves are bigger than others. It is really cool. Now, you can see in this... Uh, oh! Oh! And we're over just like that. It's okay, though. I'm actually glad that happened. We're going to get out. We've got a capsized boat. But now we need to get some help. We've got a mayday coming from the Canary. And let's go if I can see if I can stand up on the boat here before the sharks come to get me. Looks like I can get it around the edge here. But what I was going to show you is over there is some land. Just the start of it, um, of this kind of water world. Uh, but you'll see when we get up there, the, the much work has been done on the props uh, the uh, the train, the detail, the colors just looks fantastic. So we got a capsized boat out here. What are we going to do about that? Well, we're going to call on a big rescue boat to basically save the canary. So let's do that right now. All right, we're back underwater. We're looking for predators. I swam over here from the canary. Uh, and if this thing looks massive, it is. And uh, what I want to show you is just... The scale that you can build in in HB14 is ridiculous. And not only that, no hit on performance. Uh, the game is running just as smooth when I first spawned in the canary, which is still floating back there. But look at this thing. And again, that skin layering system, we're so proud of that. And that's just the start of it. Eventually, you'll be able to pick different colors of skins. But, I mean, come on, guys. Take a look at that. Just the sheer scale of it. It's just so much fun to build uh, in this game, especially with this update coming. Let's go ahead and uh, jump in the cabin here. All right, fire this beast up. we got a helicopter landing pad there, which I hope to see people landing on in the future when this comes out. And uh, let's go back to the Canary. I'm using my uh, jet rudder system here to turn this beast.
and let's go check out the Canary. We'll do a little cruise by there, pick up any uh, stranded semen in the ocean, and then we'll cruise over to the lighthouse. Uh, if you'll notice in front of me, you see those digital displays? Uh, that's just a taste of the new parts coming in HB14. And not just static parts, but, but dynamic parts. Let's start up the uh, engine real quick, folks. It, uh, that actually uh, interact with p different parts that you put on the build. Um, all right, here we go. Let's just bring it back around here. There's the port canary. We'll pick up the folks. We're going to head towards land. Uh, so these different uh, readouts, I could hook those up to dynamic parts like my engine and other uh, parts that I choose to put in and actually get readouts. So I, I'm, for now, I just put some names there, uh, which is dream, build, and enjoy, which is our motto. And it's about, you know, we want to create an environment where you, when you dream of something, you, that we give the tools to build it and then for you to enjoy it either by yourself or with friends in multiplayer. Um, so a lot more props coming, and you also see a lot more color in the parts. We, we're kind of making this a more vibrant world with colors, and we're hoping you guys are going to like that change. All right, we're going to cruise over towards the lighthouse, take one more plunge into the water, and check it out. And then we'll wrap this up. We look forward to your questions, comments, and uh, we appreciate your patience as we've been pushing towards this HB14, but it's around the corner here in December, and we hope you guys are as excited as we are. Let's go to third person, you guys. We'll zoom out a little bit here. Look at this thing. Zoom out a little more here, just so you guys can see the environment. We'll let this thing flow here, and you can see the the physics of the waves affecting that vessel it's not static and look at that baby just rolling let's let's go ahead and jump out get a little prop there underneath take a look at that i mean just how nice does that look and again this this water will undergo many more changes before the dele uh, december release and after that because uh, we're committed to making these environments as realistic looking as possible, but also um, have the physics in place, whether you're in the water, on land, or in the air, uh, so it can really challenge your building skills and also get the most enjoyment out of the vehicles that you choose to build. All right, guys, let's, uh, let's, let's swim off, uh, take off here. We'll start swimming away. Say goodbye to the ships. Say goodbye to HB14 for now, but in December, it is coming out. We hope to see you there. We thank you for the support again uh, and your comments and feedback and your patience. And we cannot wait to see the things you guys are going to build in HB14. On behalf of the Copy Bug Paste Indie Team and Homebrew Vehicle Sandbox, thank you again for all your support.